Hey, what's up? In today's video, we are comparing a, a gangsta to a new kid in the town. Before fighting over who is the best neckband earphone, let's do a quick unboxing. Fight! Starting with the design and build quality, both devices are well designed. Everything is in plastic, so there is no point competing. Also, the build quality is great on both of these devices, but Realme is known for its build quality complaints. Hehe. <laughs> Talking about comfort, then Realme is a bit more comfortable and to some extent, they offer secured fitting. Hey, M32 is not that uncomfortable either. And for the fitting, you can't touch this. We have ear hooks on these, which helps in aggressive workout. So shut your mouth. Coming down to the features, we have Bluetooth 5.0, no dual pairing though, magnetic earbuds with auto on and off, IPX4 water rating and Realme Link app support where you can update the firmware and change what these multifunction buttons do. On the Oppo, we get Bluetooth 5.0 with dual pairing, instant connection for Oppo devices, magnetic earbuds with auto on and off and auto play post for Oppo devices and IP55 water rating. This is the audio quality test of the inline mic. So this is what the person on the other side would hear. Unlike Oppo, Realme Neo has environment noise cancellation mic. So this should sound better. On the battery side, Realme has unknown amount of battery MAH, but it takes about two hours to charge full. And then you can expect 17 hours of playback at 50% of volume. Quick charging is also there, which gives two hours of playback with 10 minutes of charge. Again at 50% of volume. <laughs> Oppo has 220 mAh battery which takes about 35 minutes to charge full. And after that you can expect about 28 hours of battery backup at 60% of volume. Also quick charging is there so 10 minutes of charge would give you 20 hours of playback again at 60% of volume. Now coming down to the most crucial part of any audio device and that is the sound quality itself. So on that we have an 11.2 mm driver which produces great sound. It is distinctive from the Oppo. Here on the Realme it is much more towards the mids and bass side. So songs with bass sound better. Genres like hip hop and rap really shine. Whereas you can also listen pop and acoustic from time to time but you will find them to be short in clarity and sharpness. And talking about the loudness, this is 5 to 10% louder than the Oppo. Oppo has slightly smaller 10 mm driver which also sounds awesome. Unlike Realme which has sounds towards bass and mids, M32 is on the high and treble side of frequency spectrum. So they sound really bright. Genres like pop, acoustic hear great on this one. It is much more clear sounding than Realme and don't you assume that there is no bass at all as I didn't mention though. But they perform great when listening to bass heavy genres but they sound a bit on the bright side. If I cut it short, sound wise both earphones are great sounding and everything sounds good. It's not like you will chuck any of these out of your ears. It's just that if you like open and bright sound then pick the M32 and if you like the sound to be a bit on the bass side then pick Realme. Who's the winner then? Now you know everything about these earphones, I laid all the facts and features of these earphones. Now it's all about to pick your combination if you want to pick more battery with bright sound for 1500 rupees 
then go with the M32 or you want the less battery with gaming mode and bass oriented sound for 1300 rupees. And after doing so, you can find the best deals on either of these earphones from the description below. So that's been it for today. Let me know what you think about this video. And if you want me to compare any of these earphones with any other earphones, please do let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.